say hello. I hope we can see us, yes. Hello, everybody. Hello, everyone. Uh, if I can please remind you just to turn off your microphones, that would be fantastic. Okay, welcome to the group chat. Um, welcome from GIC. Um, my name is Alessia and we've got some other people here as well. Um, I've been the one who contacted you here on Skype. Um, we also have one of our current students here, um, his name is Sean. We've got the um, programme leader for science and engineering, um, his name is Andrew. And we've got our um, progression coordinator here as well, Donald. Um, we will answer your questions today that you have sent us um, prior to this chat and you'll also be able to send us questions um, through the messaging system here on Skype. So if you have any questions, please um, start sending them now and we will go through them in the next hour. Okay? Alright. Okay, so um, if you could all please reply with yes if you can hear me. That would be great. Okay, that's a good start. Okay, fantastic. I think most of you can hear me. So if there's ever a time during the chat that you might not be able to hear me, don't worry. We are recording um, this entire chat as a video, um, so you will be able to access this afterwards. I will send you the link once the video is processed and you'll be able to, um, to watch it again. Um, so don't worry if the connection gets a little bit worse or you can't um, hear us properly, there will be a video available afterwards. Okay, let's start with the first question. Um, upon arrival to the college, will we have to set um, a test in any subject? Do you want to answer that, Andrew? <laughs> well, it depends whether they're foundation or pre-masters okay. students. Pre-masters students do not have to set any kind of initial test when they get to the college. The students who are on the foundation of science and engineering programmes do have to sit what we call baseline tests in mathematics and, and science. Um, but you don't need to worry about them, there's nothing kind of scary about them, you do not need to prepare for them in, in any way, they're just there. We just ask students to do them because it gives us an idea of the, the level at which different students are coming in at so that we can make sure that we are providing appropriate support for the, for the students. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Sean, do you still remember the baseline test? Sorry, I'm a pre master. He was, oh, I don't know how he was a pre master. Yeah, so, yeah, so Sean would have not Okay, <laughs> yeah, that's fair enough. Um, yeah, but as Andrew said, you don't need to, you don't need to worry about that um, too much. Okay, great, good start. Um, let's move on. Um, will we have access to the facilities offered by the University of Glasgow? Um, I can start answering that. Um, yes, you will have access to all the facilities on campus. Um, so this includes the library, any kind of support services there. Um, you will be able to um, use the various student unions as social spaces. Um, you will attend lectures and seminars there, so um, there's no problem for you to access um, the campus. Um, maybe Sean could tell us a little bit about um, your use of the campus. Do you? Well, the most thing I use this is the library. Yeah. yeah, I write all the all my essays here, yeah. and uh, the gym as well is good. Yeah, and I like swimming pool, and uh, oh, everything yeah. is okay. Fantastic. Just uh, as common as the other geo students. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And um, do you find that there are um, many resources in the library to complete your work? Oh yeah, the online resource is so valuable and. Uh, very helpful, yes. Yeah, okay, that's great. And um, you also talked about the gym a little bit, so are you a member in the gym? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, actually, I just went to the, the swimming, the swimming pool. pool, yeah, yeah. and uh, twice a week. Yeah. yeah. Very comfortable. Yeah. That's yes. nice, that's great, yeah. So um, we have quite a big gym here on, on campus. They actually just expanded the building, so they've made it actually double the size. So um, you have really great facilities uh, for gyms and free weights, and um, like Sean said, there's a big swimming pool as well. Um, and um, there's different kind of courts, so you'll be able to play badminton and squash and um, 
basketball, all sorts of things. And there's also an external sports facility as well. They have outdoor um, football courts. So um, you can access pretty much anything um, in very near to the college and on campus here. I guess maybe just add to that, you could, the students can access the, uh, the same computing facilities as, yeah. The, yeah. as the undergraduate or yes. postgraduate uh, students at the University of, uh, of Glasgow. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, next question. As students um, undertake the foundation year to progress to the university, can we participate in events such as Freshers' Week uh, at the University of Glasgow? Yes, of course. So as soon as you arrive here in Glasgow and as soon as you start GIC, you are a student here at the college, but you are as much a student of the university. So um, probably um, once you register and once you confirm your address, you will be able to receive your student ID card from the university um, and you will be able to um, to have a physical identification of you being a, a student of the University of Glasgow. Um, and especially during Freshers' Week, there are so many different events happening on campus, and we really, really want to encourage you to join them. Um, during our campus tours, um, um, organised by the college, we will show you all the different um, uh, things that are happening during Freshers' Week, so rest assured that we will tell you about it. Um, there will also be some representatives from the societies and the clubs and hopefully from the sports as well coming to our welcome event. Um, so you'll be able to talk to representatives from the university on how to join clubs. And again, we really want to encourage you to join, um, to join these things and attend events at the university as much as possible. Um, have you joined any clubs at the university? Um, I used to join uh, ATCO. Club, but I, I didn't know when there anymore yeah, okay, <laughs> because yeah. the, at my time to be it's not like so. Okay. Done, so yeah, oh, so I think quite really a great club. Yeah. Exactly the time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Next question. During the foundation year, will there be trips arranged around the UK? Um, yes, there will be trips around. So especially now in the first term, um, it's just the, the week after registration where we are hoping to take you to Edinburgh. And that's usually a very popular trip and most students want to go see Edinburgh, especially with the castle, um, right in their first week. So we're arranging that and we're also going to different cities here in Scotland and different in like the Highlands part, so the mountains, and we'll show you various different um, places on coach trips. So it's a very good way to um, get to know the country and then um, if you do just various different places and then you can explore them further on a later date by yourself because I think our students also quite like to enjoy traveling by themselves or obviously with uh, with their friends together but initially we would definitely have um, coach tours for you available that you can join which is also a great way I think to um, to get to know other students okay now um, Another subject related really questions. Um, how big are the class sizes? How big are the class sizes? Um, I think in general they're about so sort of eighteen twenty mm -hmm. probably be about the, 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 the normal kind of class size, the maximum class size um, for a, a seminar yeah. um, would be about twenty five. Yeah. But they tend to be smaller than that. Mm -hmm. um, the lectures that some students are in might be bigger than that yeah. because in the lecture that's uh, the idea kind of there is the students come and they, they, they listen to what the lecturer has to say and, and to take notes and so on and that's usually done in a slightly bigger bigger group yeah. um, but most most of your uh, most of the classes will be sort of 18 20 I would have thought that's that's kind of the normal yeah. number. Okay. Hey, Sean how was your experience of your seminars did you did you enjoy the, was it okay, um, the, the people that were in the class? I, I like the seminars. Yeah. Well, as, uh, and I like the tutors. And my class size is small. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. as an engineering, you know. Yeah, okay. So how so, many were in your class? Um, just the 10. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. That's actually quite beneficial. Yeah, that's quite nice. a lot of communications with the tutors. Yeah. yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah, so did you make many friends as well as part of your class? Of course. Yeah. Yeah, difference yeah. from everywhere. <laughs> yeah, fantastic, that's really good. Um, okay, so um, another question, maybe Sean you can answer this. What's the weather like in September? <laughs> <laughs> September? 
I remember the September is <laughs> it's not cold, warm, and uh, it rains, but not rains as much as here <laughs> yeah. right now. Yeah. yeah. So I think September is the best month. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, um, what would you recommend? Maybe what kind of clothing students would would bring? Uh, shirts and. Uh, Green umbrellas. Yeah. <laughs> and okay. pipe. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. But, um, okay, so um, there was a question also about um, a private accommodation and how to find private accommodation. Now, um, Sean, you already told me earlier that you um, have lived in a private flat yeah. from the start of your here at GIC. So, how did you, um, how did you find your flat? Well, first I talked to someone online to find a flight and uh, someone uh, contacted me and uh, we rent a flight together and I just uh, applied, uh, I, I mean I rented do all the, uh, the documents in China and I think it's quite convenient to find a flight just to uh, talk to someone online and uh, seek help. Okay, yes. okay. So was it a person that was also in China that you talked to and you Together, um, you no, no, no. Yeah, all my friends that then were in Glasgow. Oh, okay. They so find the mean. flight. Yeah. And they just want to find someone to share. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I understand. Yeah. Um. So yeah, if you already have people that you maybe know, or maybe you have friends um, in your country that know some people that live over here in Glasgow, then certainly speak to them because I think it's it's definitely an advantage to ask them for any kind of help to find a private to find private accommodation. But if you do not know anybody, that's okay too. Um, you can contact our accommodation manager. Um, I can send you um, her uh, contact details um, and um, she will be able to advise you with a list of um, appropriate estate agents and maybe some um, hints and tips on what to look out for so you don't get scammed by landlords or um, and get involved in any kind of fraud. Okay? Um, but usually it is a fairly simple process that there are many flats and rooms available so it's not a very hard process you just need to um, spend some time looking um, for certain places and especially if you don't know anybody here in Glasgow it might just take a little bit of extra time but we are here to, um, to help you with that so please get in touch and let us know okay so moving on um, some more questions here I am vegetarian so I wanted to ask if there are any reasonably priced vegetarian restaurants near the college campus do you know anything about no, that? no I, I tried to be a vegetarian for a mess yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. I, I, I think it, it Although it is limited, but you can still find somewhere to eat. And yeah. uh, it, I think all the restaurants near GIC, we can order some uh, vegetarian food. Options, yes, they yeah. offered. Yeah, I'm pretty sure somebody said yesterday that Glasgow was voted um, a vegetarian friendly uh, city yes. <laughs> um, because there are very many um, restaurants, like Sean said, that offer options, vegetarian options, or are completely vegetarian. I think there's the, the Indian restaurant, there's the Indian restaurant just um, a few um, houses down from the college that is completely vegetarian. Um, so yeah, you can go there for lunch uh, every day and dinner if you want. Um, um, so yeah, there's there's plenty of options um, for you. And generally, the West End is uh, well equipped with restaurants and cafes. Um, and because there's so many students here, the prices are fairly student friendly as well. Um, so you have a lot of access here to uh, to food. <laughs> um, and of course, in the shops, you'll be able to find lots of vegetarian products there yes. as well. Um, um, Sean, did you find it quite easy to go shopping here for groceries? Oh. Tesco's, Morrison's everywhere, mm -hmm. and uh, Subway, uh, McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Plenty of options for food. <laughs> yeah. Have you have you tried any Scottish food? Uh, you mean haggis? Yeah, uh, yeah, I like them. Yeah, you like them. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, also, the Scottish eggs. Yeah, oh, very tasty. Yeah, yes. Scotch eggs. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh, yeah. Just fry eggs with meat. Yes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Delicious. Yeah. Tasty. It's not, unfortunately, that's not vegetarian Scotch eggs. <laughs> 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 but you can get vegetarian haggis. <laughs> so there's also an option. Are there for vegetarian that. haggis? Yes. Uh, yeah. I wish I had that time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think, like I said, you can, you can get quite a lot of, um, even in the supermarkets, there's a whole brand dedicated to 
vegetarian meat, if you can call it that way, to, <laughs> we call it that way. So, and um, you can get any kind of replicas of meat as as vegetarian products. So it's um, it's very good. Okay. Um, next question: Do I need to carry any books um, with me? Um, I'm coming from India for my undergrad mechanical engineering course. Well, they should be able to. I guess the answer is, is no, in that you should be able to buy all of the books that you need when you get here. Yeah. So you don't need to bring you know loads of huge heavy textbooks yeah. with you um, when you come here. However, it is still a good idea if you, if you can before you come here to try and find out about the kinds of books that you will need and try and, and try and take a look at them in some way before you you come over. Yeah. However, I think if you were to buy them all yeah. before you can, you would have an enormous, it would be, yeah. be too much. You'd probably need an extra suitcase yeah. and a lot of um, money to pay for it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, that's true. Yeah, so I think we would probably want to encourage you to, to wait until you're here um, to buy your books. Um, we On Monday, we will um, send you an email to give you access to um, a platform that will provide you with reading lists um, for each of the courses, so you will be able to find out what kind of books you need um, prior to your arrival um, and then once you are here in um, the college actually um, you'll be able to buy your books um, your book bundles um, through the college at a discounted price um, and there's also a bookshop on campus I think that gives 10 percent discount um, so there's there's many options here when you are here and um, people that will able to advise you on that and how to buy your books um, did you bring any of your books I'm a librarian for, for IELTS. <laughs> for IELTS. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. when I come, I didn't pass the IELTS. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I yeah. just bring my vocabulary book. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. But did you find it quite easy to purchase your books um, mm. for your course? You mean buy the books here? Yeah. 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 Very convenient. Yeah. You just go to the service. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah. So student services. This is uh, practically um, us here conducting the, the Skype chat, and we have a reception here and. Um, you can come to us for, for anything, any kind of questions um, that you have, um, just to explain on the side. Um, okay, next question. Are there any Indian grocery stores and um, how far are they from the college? Um, there are Indian grocery stores, are there? Um, and there's one quite close to the, to the college, about drive or? Uh, about five minutes walk from here. Um, I think Glasgow is a very good city for um, for kind of supermarkets with um, kind of different uh, foods from different countries. Um, I know there are very big, um, I think, Chinese supermarkets here as yeah. well, and yes. um, where you can get a lot of products. There's also another road called Great Western Road that's not far away from the college where there's various different kind of shops. Um, I think you can find a lot of African food there as well. Um, and then, especially also with a lot of um, Indian um, um, or kind of general kind of um, Asian um, products there, you find also in the south side, I think, of Glasgow as well. So there's not just not just groceries. I think there's groceries, clothing, any kind of other shops, restaurants. Um, so Glasgow is very multicultural when it comes to these things, and it's really easy um, to find groceries from different um, from different countries. Again, we actually have a, a list of um, supermarkets as well available. This will be included in your um, accommodation um, pack. So once you um, or you, if you if you live in our student accommodation, you will receive one of that. If you are interested in knowing, knowing about that um, and you will be living in a private flat, don't worry. Um, I think this will also be included on the um, the VLE, the, the virtual learning environment. The login details will be shared on Monday, or you can just ask us. You can just come here to reception, or you can contact us um, on Facebook or here on Skype, and we will send you the list of, of the available supermarkets. Alicia, do you want us to answer that question about the tutorials before we end? Oh, sorry, I missed that one. Leave. Yes, of course, yeah. So, um, what was the what was the question? Are we going to have tutorials? Oh yeah, are we going to have tutorials for um, the for teacher and student interaction? <laughs> okay, the answer is yes. <laughs> um, students have uh, the opportunity to have one-to-one -one tutorials with their learning support tutor. Um, but also because the classes are, are generally really quite small, um, most of them, and the they emphasis is on having very interactive classes where there are lots of opportunities for, for students to kind of have, have a, a kind of tutorial type experience with their tutors. 
um, and there will be lots of opportunities for students too to meet with their their tutors kind of outside of the kind of formal classes as well. Yeah. Um, so Sean, maybe you can tell us a little bit about um, how how did you find the tutorials? How helpful were they for your study? Oh well, my tutor I find him very helpful, and uh, when I write my essays, first I don't know how to write, and uh, she taught me how to write, and uh, uh, taught me a lot about use the online resource and how to find articles, and, and then even I when I preparing the hours, she spent a lot of time with my speaking ties and writing ties. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Yes. Great. Okay, so um, okay. Oh, there was another question about food. Do we need to carry any um, food with us? I'm guessing you might mean to bring food from your home country. Um, if you want to, you can, but you will need to check um, with the border agency um, what types of foods you are allowed to bring into the UK and how much of it. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes. So I'm sure if it's just a loaf of bread, um, then that might not be too bad. Um, but yeah, please, please check um, with the UK border agency what you are allowed to bring with you so you don't get held up at customs too long or you might just have to leave all, um, all the things that you have brought with you. But I think certainly um, to maybe um, not feel as homesick or you know if there's uh, something that you want to bring with you then then please please do so. But like I said, check, check beforehand. <laughs> um, did you bring anything from home with you? Uh, no, no, actually not. No. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. We need to go to another meeting. Though. Yes, unfortunately, uh, Andrew and Donald will have to leave us for today, but um, they will be back for the chat tomorrow as well. So if you can join us again tomorrow and you have some more subject related questions, we'll obviously try and answer as many as we can still today, um, but they'll be back tomorrow as well. So there'll be another opportunity there. Well, if they, do, if they can't make it tomorrow, they're looking forward to seeing them yeah. in September. Yep, fantastic. Yes. <laughs> Thanks Thank a you. lot. See you guys. Bye. 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 Um, yeah, so were there maybe any other items that you think um, would be helpful to bring to the UK or that you brought with you? For some items? Mm. I think to I remind you of home. All the items <laughs> <are> <laughs> <there>. <laughs> No, but I mean maybe to remind you of home um, or did you bring anything? Actually not. No? <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> That's okay. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I should fly here and my package is limited. Yes. So to don't bring too much. Yeah. You, you, you need to uh, you need to move. Mm -hmm. Yes. So yeah. very yes. inconvenient. Yeah, that's good advice actually. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so we will move on now to the questions you have sent us here through Skype. So um, how many hours of classes do you have on a daily basis? Well, I have 24 hours. Uh, per week, and uh, I think we need more time to study law mm -hmm. because the article, the essays are really hard to yeah. write. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, yeah. So you're quite busy during the week. Um, yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's quite true. Cool. Yeah. I mean, yeah, because you do work, because it is an intensive program, isn't it, for you to uh, yes. prepare for the university? So, yeah. Okay. Um, how is the, or how would you describe the level of life in Glasgow? Uh, except the weather, I think <laughs> the life is very cozy, and yeah. uh, I really, really enjoy living here because everyone is friendly and uh, on the street, everyone smells to you, and uh, and it's very city here, and uh, so I just uh, like living here. Yeah, good. That's fantastic. Great, thank you. Um, how much money do we have to carry to open um, a savings account in the UK? Oh, I think first time I opened a account in UK, I didn't didn't use any money. Mm -hmm. I just uh, have a bank letter from JSC yes. and uh, some uh, promise documents with the leaving, mm -hmm. and then uh, I just open it. Yes, yes. So I think for a normal bank account, you do not have to have any capital that you will that you will deposit into the bank account to open it. You can just go to the bank, like Sean said, with a letter from the college um, to open that bank account. We will um, advise you on that process and show you exactly how that process works once you arrive here in the UK. You will learn about this 
um, during your um, registration week. Um, but I think there are some, maybe some savings accounts where you might get a better rate of interest if you um, deposit a certain amount of money. Um, but this, you would only really want to open a savings account if you want to save money um, eventually. But usually um, what you need is just a normal um, current account, that's what it's called, because you will be making lots of, like you will withdraw quite a lot of money, maybe money will come in, and that's kind of what you use for your, for your daily usage. Also with a current account that comes a card with that, a debit card, um, usually with savings accounts. You might get a card, but you are restricted on what you're able to do with that card. Um, <clears throat> so what you would be looking for is a current account. Um, what bank are you with? Are you quite happy with your bank? Oh, I have three, okay. three, three, three bank card. Okay. One is DSB for the saving, saving mm -hmm. money, and uh, another is a, a Chinese mm -hmm. saving card for the transfer from money from China to yeah. here. Okay. And then it's a Chinese uh, credit card mm -hmm. for the living space. Oh, okay, yeah, that's yeah. fine. So do you find that it is quite easy for you to transfer money from China because you uh, have a... I think it's yeah. convenient yeah. as long as you open a, a, a bank account in the Bank of China mm -hmm. and from China just very fast. Yeah. 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 So I think it is definitely worth for you to um, have a look maybe at the banks that might have the correspond to the one in your country or if there are banks that are represented here in Scotland from your country and like Sean says for, for transferring money because um, you might actually save maybe a lot of money to transfer to a familiar bank. Um, but then to to use here in the in, in the UK, like Sean said, it would be quite good to have also a, a British bank account, um, because there's um, ATMs, so there's um, machines where you can collect money from everywhere, and you can use if you have a British bank card, you can use any kind of ATMs all over the, the country. Um, it doesn't matter, you don't always have to go to the same bank that you're with, you can just use any bank's ATM. So it's very convenient um, to have a British bank card. So there was another question about opening a savings account. Uh, just again, as Sean said, you will need a letter here from the bank. I think you also need your student card to, uh, sometimes. I think it depends uh, on the I bank sometimes. Your passport. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yes. definitely. You will definitely need your passport for it, yeah. Um, and um, yeah, and then you just need to you just need to go and make an appointment with them to um, to open that bank account. But again, um, we will tell you the step by step process when you come here to the um, to the college. Um, um, it does take a little bit of time, so please do not expect um, to open your bank account on the first day um, that you arrive here. Um, many students are arriving here, obviously in Glasgow, so the banks will be quite busy as well, giving out appointments for new bank accounts. So um, please allow a little bit of time. Um, I know this might sound like then that you should bring a lot of cash, but please also do not do that. Do not do that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Please do not carry big um, amounts of cash with you. Um, that's not advisable either. Um, if you can maybe bring enough um, cash to obviously get you through the first few days, and if there's other arrangements with credit cards or things that you can you can make um, to get by for the first um, two or three weeks, then I think that would be the best um, option. I was wondering if non-artistic college students use the piano room. I'm not quite sure what you mean with the piano room. Are you aware of a piano room? Never been there before. No, I'm not sure either. I'm not sure if you maybe if, if you maybe think that as a piano. I, I, room. I know the library has pianos yeah. and uh, they have some earphones yeah. you, you can type and. Uh, listen to it. Oh, yeah, okay. Careful. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so I'm I'm so I guess what you mean is maybe that there's there's rooms that you're available to rent maybe in the library. I'm not I'm not sure if, if there's any specific regulation that it has to be um, any kind of students that are enrolled in any kind of creative programs to use them. I'm guessing that if they are in the library you're just able to, to book them. Um, and, to, and to use them. Um, but that's something I can have a look into after this chat and I will send you um, a private message on Skype to find that out for you. Okay. Do we need to pay for all the sports activities? So um, you said that you sometimes go swimming, so how do you, um, how do you pay for this? Do you just 
I just uh, uh, buy a, a, I mean, a number card from the genie. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so and you can just go, okay. Yeah. So do you pay monthly for this? Um, yes, yeah. I, I pay the, the monthly for the working days. Yeah, mm -hmm. yes. yeah. Just so 10 pounds per week. Yeah, exactly. So there's different options for GSE. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Um, there's different options for GSE students. I think if you want full access to all the gym facilities anytime, any day, um, I think it's fifteen pounds per month, but like Sean says, he paid for the one that allows you to access the gym on weekdays, so only Monday to Friday, and that's only ten pounds per month. And I think there's also a difference then with off peak times and peak times, and um, so there's there's various options um, for you. If you have already joined our Facebook group. Um, then you'll be able to find some information on all the sports and recreational facilities and membership information in that group. And we have also included that as information as part of our email on Monday, so you'll be able to find out more about that then. <coughs> um, yeah, so um, like I said, this allows you to access the, the, all the facilities um, in, in the gym. So I think it's pretty good. I think there are other uh, sports uh, out of the gym is survival, you know, like yeah. the, the jungle or the, the tennis mm -hmm. near, the, near the garden. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Parent group garden, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, so there's plenty of opportunities for you to join. There's also um, um, a very, like a lot of um, sports teams. So yes. if you are interested in playing competitively and training with a proper coach um, in, in different kind of sports, you'll be able to join these teams as well. So again, you have full access um, to all of these things. Um, and the list of sports, again, is available online um, and we will share that information with you. Um, but then there's also, there's also facilities outside of the university. You can join private clubs um, that are just part here, um, that are just local um, to this area, um, which is also, again, it might be a great opportunity to meet some local people here and to connect with local people. Um, and there's also, there's a big um, a chain of gyms, for example, around here in Glasgow, for people living in Glasgow, Glasgow Life. Um, so if you maybe live in a private flat that is in a different area of Glasgow, you should still be able to access sports facilities um, for similar prices with so be student discounts um, for that as well. Okay, we just got another question, I think, we're coming in. Uh, please send us any questions, um, anything that you want to ask us. Um, just carry on sending them to us, and we will we will talk about them. Okay, maybe in the meantime, um, I'll just ask um, maybe Sean to yeah. talk a little bit about um, what are the assessments like of the course. So, what types of assessments do you have to complete? Um, well, we have exams, essays, presentations for post for point and posters, mm -hmm. and that's it. We have also English level class like the yeah. L's, like, uh, listening, reading, speaking, mm -hmm. writing. Yeah. So I think the hardest thing is the exams. Yeah. <laughs> yes. 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 So um, what types of exams? What like what's the structure of an exam? Oh, you, you mean the, the procedure of the exam? Yeah. Could it be like a multiple choice, or is it that you have to write an essay? Or? I, I, I just finished the exam mm -hmm. last week and uh, it's a uh, statistical design exam mm -hmm. and uh, I have prepared, uh, I prepared a lot of time with the, all the how, how to work it out. Yeah, yeah, of course. And yeah. I think if I well prepare in the exam, it's quite easy. Yeah, of but course. But sometimes the only thing is I, I don't understand the question. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 So, um, do you have, um, for example, lo lots of questions to answer in your exam, or is it just um, two questions and you have to to write? Oh a well. It, it, the last question is two parts. The first part, sorry. The first part is very easy questions and uh, just very easy and uh, answer these questions. Yeah. And then and then the last uh, and the second part is three questions and you should choose two. Uh, okay. And they are very big questions. Yeah. And uh, it works a lot. Yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah. Okay. Twenty months, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Great. Um, okay. Um, do we have enough time to join clubs? 
um, during the foundation year. Now, okay, um, Sean is a pre-master student, so um, we're not quite sure what the timetable necessarily looks like for a foundation year student. There will be example timetables um, on um, uh, again on the um, the learning environment on the platform that we're sending you the um, sign uh, the login details for on Monday, and you'll be able to see how many hours you will be um, in class. Um, as Sean said, he initially joined a club um, earlier, but then he found he didn't have time to join that club. Yeah. I think you sometimes have to be maybe maybe it's flexible. Not. So um, sorry, yeah. the, the timetable is not for the for the tutorials or seminars or yeah. the classes. It's yeah. for my self study time. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. So I think it's sometimes also to get exactly how much time you allocate to to studying yourself outside of class and what is convenient for you. Um, so sometimes maybe you might not be able to always attend a certain club or, or a sports all the time. Um, you might only be able to attend maybe every two weeks. Or, but I think it really depends on, on yourself and, yes. what, and what you want to do and what you want to achieve. What size of duvet and sheets are in the starter pack? Okay, I'm not quite sure of the size of the duvet. I think it's a, um, a queen size bed, so a UK queen size bed is a little bit bigger than a normal single bed. No, is it just a single bed? It's just a UK single bed. Queen size is a single bed. No, it doesn't matter. Whatever. <laughs> okay, um, it is it is a single bed, okay. Um with um with a duvet and um and sheets are all included in, in the in the starter pack. Okay. So um I hope that answers your question. <laughs> Do you have any more questions that you want to send us? Um, maybe in the meantime we can talk a little bit about the um the West End. <laughs> so, like, do you do you spend a lot of time around um, around maybe Byers Road or? I just live in Byers Road. Oh, do you? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. So, so, do you maybe use like the cafes or restaurants? Well, or? I went to each of the cafe of Byers Road and each of the restaurant. I love them. Oh, yes. really? Yes. Do you try every single one? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Even the very strange food. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's really good. Yeah. Fantastic. And do you often go to the city centre? Well? Oh, maybe one or twice per week, mm -hmm. per month. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just the one I want to buy some clothes. Yeah. Um, there is a, a summer show or something. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Do you find it quite um, that the prices are quite good for the clothes? Um. Yeah. For the clothes, it's quite great. But for the the electronic products, mm -hmm. it's a little expensive okay. because of the tax. Yes, yes, of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, do you often use your student card to get student discounts on clothes? Oh yes, in many yeah. shops we have a student discount. Mm -hmm. uh, it's about maybe ten percent. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, that's really good. And um, do you know? Um, do you go to particular areas in the city centre? Like what kind of streets do you go to to go shopping? It doesn't matter. Kind of street. Yeah. Mainly. Yeah. Uh, uh, I went for some shopping and. Uh, yeah. I like the, the Light, Light House Museum. Yes, like it's a, I think it's a museum or galleries. You know, oh, the uh, yeah, the modern art. Yeah. Yes. 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 Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, like Sean just mentioned, museums, museums, or most of the museums here in Glasgow are actually free to enter. Yes. So, um, so it's quite convenient if you just go on a little shopping trip, then you can pop into the museum and have a look at the, at the have things in there. Exactly. <laughs> have a break, um, and then just come out. There's also there's many shops again. There's so many restaurants as well so there's a lot a lot of things to do um, so um, Buchanan Street is probably the most popular street to go to go shopping but there's also a street called Stocky Hall Street there's a few shops on there as well and then there's also Merchant City that has if you're quite into your designers and brands um, there's quite a lot of um, shops there um, as well and then of course and there's also Edinburgh do you sometimes go to Edinburgh? Yeah I went to Edinburgh five or six times yeah yeah. yeah. So um, that's about, I think, like 45 minutes on the train. You can get oh, a direct yes. train to Edinburgh. So it's very easy to get very there. Fast. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And obviously there's plenty of shops there as well. <laughs> I went to the castle twice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The castle is really big. Yeah. Yes. You can go there twice because I think it takes a long time. 
to 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 view everything in the castle. Uh, but yeah, um, like uh, like I said earlier, remember that we are um, taking you to Edinburgh if you want to. Um, We'll be selling the tickets for that during um, the registration week already, so you will have a good chance to um, go to the castle with us, um, and the entry will be included in that price as well. So it's it's very convenient for you to come um, on that trip with us. Okay. Now there is a question that said the computers must have a special characteristic. I'm. I, I'm a jig, I'm a jig with computer. I, I, I don't think with, with some factors and characters. Yeah. Just the use of common computer. Just okay. normal computers, yeah. Okay. So Sean says <laughs> they're, they're normal computers. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know, do you, do you, so you have, is it the same Brain kind of operating system? <laughs> yeah. Is it a similar operating system to that you have um, at home? So do you all yeah. use Windows or Mac? Or well, the, the only. Uh, the software I use is Microsoft Word and uh, PowerPoint, mm -hmm. and I don't think other. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Japanese OSs and uh, PowerPoint for the the seminar uh, yeah. hand uh, book out. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. handouts, yeah. Yeah. Handouts. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Okay, guys. Any more questions for us today? <laughs> Just feel free to send them in. Maybe we can speak in the meantime a little bit about um, public transport. Um, so, how do you travel here in Glasgow? Walking, mm -hmm. cycling, okay. and uh, bus, subway. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, the train. Yeah, the most of all. Yeah, train as well. Okay. And um, do you have a real card for your train? Um, yes, I have a young person card. You mm -hmm. have a uh, four thirty percent. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's really it's good. Healthy. Do you sometimes travel with that down to England as well, or have you? Um, have you I, I went to the, the lake, the di di oh, district. Oh, yeah. uh, district, yeah. Yeah, yeah. District, yeah. And, uh, I also went to Sterling or Falkirk or something. Falkirk, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Falkirk, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, oh, so Oban, yeah. Oban, the little town, yeah. Oban, yes. Yes, yes. yes. yeah. I yeah. like the seafood here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We are going to Oban as well with the, yeah. the college in October. That's really good. Um, so for the bus or for the subway, do you have a specific ticket that you use? Um, I want to, but I don't have time to, and I, I back uh, back after that. Mm -hmm. So I I just went, but I, I just uh, go somewhere by uh, cycling. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. So cycling is actually quite popular here in Glasgow. I think um, Glasgow is a cycling friendly city. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Even the vehicles give the way to you when you're cycling. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, so definitely get a bike. <laughs> Keeps you fit. <laughs> it's yeah. definitely good. But I think the, the bus prices here are quite uh, good as well. Depends how far you want to go, but I think for anything more than four stops, I think it's about two pounds um, that you pay for um, on the I bus. I think two pounds is a return ticket, isn't it? Uh, it's just a one-way ticket. Okay. <laughs> you, can, you can get day tickets as well. Oh yeah, yeah four pounds for, for a day. Four pounds yeah. for a day ticket, and that means you can travel as much with the bus as, as you want. Um, exactly, um, and the buses actually travel quite long distances as well. So you can yes. um, get buses from one end of Glasgow all the way to the other end, and you still only pay two pounds. <laughs> <laughs> so um, it's quite easy. And our subway is also it's really simple. It's it's nothing like um, the London Underground. <laughs> it only has fifteen stops. <laughs> so um, and it goes in a circle, so you can yeah. never get lost. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, you can never get lost. Um, Okay, how is uh, Franklin Point as an accommodation? Um, have you been to Franklin Point? Maybe to visit friends? Uh, yes. Yeah? Uh -huh. yes. How did you find that accommodation? Oh, you mean how to find? Yeah, like how, no, 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 um, how, um, how did you like that accommodation? Well, I like the common room there mm -hmm. and uh, I think the room is not big but not small mm -hmm. yeah. and the kitchen is very big mm -hmm. and uh, we, we, we shared uh, parties in the kitchen yeah yeah, yeah that's really good yeah. i think franklin point as an accommodation is is good if you are um, a little bit more independent I as compared also to also franklin point is very convenient with the supermarkets yes. everywhere shops yes. Yes. yes yeah yeah exactly right next to franklin point there's there's yeah. a shop there i think there's a post office around there as well there's yes. um, quite a lot of different um, things uh, 
But so, um, if you live in the Globe, um, and the, the Globe is not far away from, from a big supermarket either, um, but Franklin Point um, does not have any um, staff on site, so um, but it's a secure entry system, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, anybody can just walk in and everything. Um, but um, yeah, um, our accommodation manager actually explained a little bit about that yesterday. That, for example, in the Globe, um, uh, that um, people under 18 can live in the Globe, whereas they can't at Franklin Point. So Franklin Point is a bit more for independent um, people um, who. Um, want to obviously um, also meet other people as well because you will be yeah. sharing your flats and it's very convenient I think because it's only GIC students um, so you'll be able to to meet a lot of people and make, and make lots of friends um, and um, like Sean said they do have a common area there um, but if you want to um, you can also go to the Globe if you want to there's, um, there's a table tennis facility there and they've got a TV there as well um, so you will be able to use both um, facilities. I think on the arrivals weekend this year they also offer quite a lot of um, activities so um, although Franklin Point is not far away from the college or the globe at all but obviously you, you need to find your way so they will have like a minibus um, for you um, to, to get to the globe will only take two minutes and you can join all the welcome activities so you'll be able to to learn about the facilities in the globe and get to know many people right in your, at your, in your first day. Okay. Um, okay, how cool does the weather get in Scotland? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> Good question. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. How cold would you say? How cold? I think it's not very cold, it's just mm -hmm. that it rains a lot and it's really cold. Yeah. Morning, yes. Yeah. And uh, as for the the temperature is in just around 10. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think in the winter, obviously, it does get a little bit colder, but I don't think, I think again, it depends on where you come from. If you're used to really heavy winters, then I think you will find it quite warm here in Glasgow because yes. the winter is very mild compared to very cold countries. So it might, uh, maybe in January, February time, you might, um, it might go down to kind of minus three or four maybe and there's going to be a little bit of frost on the street but that's pretty much it um, last winter it was very mild I think I think we still yes. had about 12 13 degrees on, on Christmas <laughs> which was a bit yes. odd yeah but it's just I think um, what one of um, the other students has said in the, in the last two chats as well is that um, it can be very windy and I think the wind is maybe something to, to get used to yeah. um, and I think the, the weather changes a lot more here so you can have four seasons in one day it can uh, rain I think it's five, <laughs> five. <laughs> a special one for Glasgow yes. <laughs> yes. Um, you can have snow, wind, rain, <laughs> sun, everything in one day yeah. so um, yeah but um, I think what you just need to do you just need to wear appropriate clothing don't you I think that's the next that's the next question. What kind of clothes would you recommend to wear to this weather? I, I don't know. <laughs> Just wear the clothes you, you like. Yeah. Because okay. oh, did you bring any specific clothing like I don't know, specific jackets to shield you from the wind or for the rain um, or no, no? No, I just bring umbrella and if it's a strong wind I will go to somewhere high. <laughs> that's a good idea. Yeah, that's true, because sometimes you can't use your umbrella when it's so yes. windy, that's true. Yeah. I think what you if you are um if you are maybe a little bit more sensitive to the weather, then um yeah, try and bring warm clothing, bring proper jackets, so um so like I said, maybe to shield you from the wind and for the rain. And I think what's even more important is to bring proper footwear. So bring proper shoes and that you can wear during the winter time. Especially yes. if you want to come to our trips or if you want to go exploring in the highlands as well. It will obviously get a lot more colder up on a mountain yes. and you will encounter snow. So um, bring some decent shoes with you um, that will keep you secure while walking around. And I think we'll just keep your feet dry as well. <laughs> that'll yes. be quite that'll be quite good. So if you just remember that, um, then you'll be okay. Um, I think what I think layers are always a good a good option to wear. So if you just wear a, like two three different layers, then you can take them off. It's a little bit warmer, or you can put them back on when you're cold. So if you remember that, then then you'll be fine. <coughs> Are there any other questions for us today? We've got a few more minutes left, so if you have anything that you can think of just now, please 
privately and we can answer your questions. Um, if not, don't worry, like I said, um, there's going to be another chat tomorrow and um, obviously there will be different um, students involved. They will probably ask different questions or they might ask, ask some similar questions. Um, feel free, you can join the chat tomorrow as well or you can just watch the video afterwards. Um, just to say again that um, the video will be uploaded to YouTube. I know that YouTube is not available in China but we will try our best to make it available on one of our social media sites in China and we will let you know as soon as this has happened. Okay. So if you don't have any questions anymore then um, we will say thank you and oh no somebody's typing. <laughs> Sorry? Yeah, uh -huh. so we'll just wait for Fish Fish to, to type his question. Oh, okay, about the pickup service. Okay, so um, for those living in student accommodation, we offer a, a pickup service from the airport. So um, we have uh, big buses organized. Um, and we will, like our staff here, including myself, will welcome you at the airport on Saturday and Sunday. So that's the 12th and the 13th of September. Um, um, you will have received an, um, a, a PDF document that tells you exactly what time the buses will be available. Um, hopefully the, these times should also include um, that the times that you might spend in customs. Um, should you miss the bus, that's not a problem. We will be there pretty much all day and we will be able to help you out. But there will be big coaches available for you to use. Um, to get to the accommodation. If you arrive outside of the of these hours, of the, the pickup hours, we also can arrange a taxi for you and you will have to pay for that taxi. But again, you can um, reply to our GIC accommodations mailbox um, for which you also have received your, your um, accommodation contract or you can complete the pre-arrival pre form um, even if you live in private accommodation to arrange for a taxi um, to, to your private accommodation. That's no problem um, at all. Um, so again, I can send the, the email for the accommodation, um, the email address for the accommodation mailbox. I'll send this to this group. So anything, any questions that you have about the list of, of suitable estate agents or um, about the, um, the pickup options, um, you can send those questions to that mailbox. <coughs> and our accommodation manager will reply to them. Yeah, okay, <laughs> thanks a lot, no problem whatsoever. Um, I hope this was helpful to all of you. Um, like I said, um, if you want to join our Facebook group, um, you can ask many more questions in there. If you can think of something next week, that's no problem at all. Um, and uh, like I said, I will provide some resources in this group and you will also receive an email um, with login details to a platform of lots of information about that you need to know um, before your arrival here in Glasgow. So there will be many options for you <laughs> to read things and, uh, and learn about the college. So, um, oh, we've got somebody typing. Let's see if there's another question. Oh, okay, well, it's just a thank you. Yeah, again, okay, so thanks to all of you, and um, thank you to Sean um, for joining us. Um, I think you will join us tomorrow as well. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> so, um, so, like I said, if you want to join again tomorrow, that's no problem. Um, if not, um, that's okay too. We hope it was helpful. And, uh, like I said yesterday, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, <laughs> wherever you are uh, in the world. Um, Please send us some feedback if you want. So if you have any suggestions on how we can maybe improve this or um, if you just thought that it was uh, great and fantastic, um, then uh, please send us um, some uh, feedback to that. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye.